Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we'll be looking at some crazy impressive machines we think you'll enjoy learning about. Make sure you stick around to see how you can boost the hydraulic power output of any excavator. Heads up, it's not that cheap. First up, we have the K-Tech Tricera box. It is a 14-foot wide box blade mounted to the three-point hitch on the rear of a tractor. The Tricera box is equipped with seven ground ripper shanks that are hydraulically operated to lower for ripping up hard soil. The rear blade assists the operator in backfilling soil work and completely smoothing up the cut and fill zones. Next, we have the K-Tech 1237 ADT. It is a ruggedly versatile earth mover and the most popular ADT scraper preferred for equipment fleets. Its modular bolt-together construction enables cost-effective worldwide container shipping and servicing. Due to the gooseneck, the trailer transmits 30% of its weight to the vehicle. Its rear push block ensures proper push loading, resulting in increased cycle times. This versatile scraper train has a heaping capacity of 37 cubic yards and is capable of operating in any soil condition or construction site application. Up next is the BOMAG BC-1173. It is a refuse compactor equipped with a 5.2 meter wide semi-U blade used to handle trash. Its robust wheels have rigs and teeth for crushing and kneading the refuse. The machine is powered by a six-cylinder Cummins diesel engine that produces 575 horsepower for maximum dozer capabilities. Its cooling system reduces fuel consumption by up to 6%. The cab of this compactor features a glare-free display, clearly arranged and perfectly positioned driver controls.
The TC-50 is a mobile conveyor system. It is used to transport building materials to construction sites that are inaccessible to standard machinery. You can easily tow it behind any vehicle with a towing capacity of 21,000 pounds or more. Its tungsten carbide and polyurethane belt scrapers ensure that every ounce of material is precisely placed. It can handle almost any material. The TC-50 covers an area of 4,128 square feet, but can be enhanced by 3,000 square feet with the addition of a 13-foot slinging distance. Now you're looking at the crushing and screening train which has been developed for limestone. First of all, the excavators pour stones of lime into the jaw crusher. It processes large and medium scale stones. Then the crushed limestone is further crushed with a cone crusher. The cone crushers are highly effective at using compression to crush material into a consistent product. Lastly, an inclined screen with its vibratory motion lifts the material, aiding stratification, and the angle of slope provides the travel speed of the material over the deck. The MC6000 is a large tub grinder with a rubber undercarriage explicitly designed for wood crushing. It is equipped with a CAT C18 Tier 3 engine providing 1070 kilowatts at 2100 RPM. It uses robust rubber crawlers for convenient access to any job location. On a muddy area, the rubber crawlers on the undercarriage help you to operate efficiently. Its flat body has made cleaning and maintenance easy. Its inspection and maintenance locations have been meticulously organized to facilitate reduced downtime. Last but certainly not least, we have the FECON BHP270, a unique system made for any application requiring additional hydraulic power. Typically, a 20 to 30 ton excavator's hydraulic system can deliver 45 to 60 gallons per minute to the attachment, but the BHP270 offers 105 gallons per minute. It enables mulching, brushing, slashing, tree harvesting, and stump removal with high horsepower. Its weight kit is also available to enhance balance and efficiency. The controller continuously monitors and adjusts the head flow to account for engine and hydraulic requirements. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more great machines. Feel free to like and subscribe, it's always a big help to us. And with that, we'll see you next time.